is a retort to Jamie Diamond of J.P. Morgan Chase, who uh, apparently called you up one day and gave you an earful. Yeah, a couple of years ago, he he was he was pissed off at something that I had uh, written. I was kind of surprised. You know, the, the the head of the most powerful bank in the world. Why is he so thin-skinned? Here, let me just grab a pen. A good pen. Welcome back to Punchlines, and um, we're going to continue to talk about oligarchs. The stock market is setting all-time records, which is great for the top 10%. They own nearly 90% of the U.S. stock market. But the main thing that you tackle in, in, in the system, the subtitle is who rigged it and how we fix it. I call it a, the system because it's not that there are any or very many bad people. Some of them are doing, like, like Jamie Dimon, extraordinarily well, making billions of dollars. But they don't look at the system as a whole and don't really think about changing it. There was this pent up um, fury at being shafted by the system, as you talk about in the book. It's responding to decades of the two-party system sort of overlooking them. Ironically, the Democratic Party was seen as the establishment and Trump he was the disruptor. With everything that's happened, it's amazing to me that there are still working people out there who believe in Donald Trump. So many people are so desperate and anxious and afraid mm -hmm. uh, and are living paycheck to paycheck. At the same time, you have a very narrow, small group of people who are making unbelievable amounts of money. And these are the people that in your book you refer to as the oligarchs. Well, I, I had a few um, suggestions or I wanted to get your feedback. As, as a political cartoonist, I've been uh, fascinated with the use of icons myself. So here, I did a little pre-drawing here. This is the guy that most of us sort of fall back on when we're trying to draw the oligarch. And, um, and I was trying to come up with other variations. Uh, another one that goes back maybe 100 years, which is really great, is the, uh, the vampire squid. Um, which was very popular around 1900. How do you feel about mm -hmm. squids? I don't know if you think the squid works. I think well, I think the squid works wonderfully well. But then in reading your book, I was thinking that maybe we, we're, we have to be more modern and keep it simple. And it could be just, you know how QAnon has become quite popular. Maybe we just have to have, to have an O for oligarch. <laughs> That's very good. Maybe we need to update it to something more like uh, Jeff Bezos in a, uh, Turtle, black turtleneck, maybe. Um, oh, I think I think that's wonderful. I think the, the notion of a casual oligarch itself is a fabulous, a fabulous conception. There was a term called conspicuous consumption. The oligarchs, the robber barons of the of the late. 19th century, early 20th century, they tended to be out of the public eye, uh, very mild-mannered, but they did, like Jeff Bezos, create unbelievable mansions for themselves. There are, there are fundamental issues of power, yeah. uh, and if you don't understand the nature of power, who has it and who doesn't, you're missing out on the biggest story in America right now. This presidential election will be like no other, and I hope we get through it okay. They say that Biden's ahead in the polls, but I don't, you know, after 2016, you'd be crazy to believe the polls. No, you can't. And there's so many imponderables. I mean, it's very difficult to tell. You can't assume that Donald Trump is not going to get uh, reelected. I remember 1968, yeah. you know, you had the assassination of Robert Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, you had our, our cities were burning, mm -hmm. uh, the riots, uh, because of people were so upset and, and angry. Uh, and at the same time, uh, you had Vietnam uh, raging, uh, and then the year ends with Richard Nixon being elected. I mean, if you can survive 1968, you can survive anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that's a hopeful note to end on. Okay. <laughs>